Oh, You're hey. not an novice. You're not a novice. Are you a good reputation? Oh, you've got a great reputation. Knowledge isn't too no tight. Knowledge. As long as knowledge which includes no knowledge of Tahid. And knowing what is halal here. and haram. Bless when falls in innovation. Bida. I'm sure you accept Worldly that. knowledge oh, such as knowledge oh, of people oh, and their oh, natures. One who wishes to treat others must have these two types of knowledge. Is your wife honorable, respectful, and trustworthy? Is she not slanderous? Is she level-headed and sober? Experience. You must also have experience which college tries them to treat people. This includes knowledge of the jinn and devils in their ways and knowledge of how to deal with them and knowledge of the patient and how close he is to Allah. Awareness and purity. Even as we saw the to treat others, must also be aware of the pious hourly and inwardly righteous, and he must be regular in his performance of acts of worship, which annoy and overpower the shaitan. In potentiality, he should be able to keep a secret because this matter involves learning people's secrets and private matters. Knowledge of mental illnesses. Mental illnesses are similar to illnesses caused by jinn possession of all types. Some people confuse mental illness with illnesses caused by the general by witchcraft. How is a sickness diagnosed? In the case of sickness caused by human by the jinn, as is the case in any kind of medical disorder, it is essential to diagnose the problem and find out what caused it. Once the practitioner knows the reason why the jinn harmed this person, and he can treat him on the basis. If he was affected because of witchcraft, he will offer a remedy that tackles witchcraft. If the sickness is caused by the evil eye, he will use a remedy that deals with the evil eye. If he's case he is with the appropriate treatment, when he diagnose the cause, he must prepare place for the treating by ridding their place of anything that involves disobedience towards the law. So if there are pictures hanging on the walls, they should be removed. And there are medical instruments, they should be taken away. Then you should prepare the patient psychologically for the treatment, advising him briefly in the patient as a woman that she should be advised to wear a hijab and her mahram should be taken. The experience of the practitioner plays a major role in the diagnosis of the disease, and that is done by finding out the patient's situation and how close he is to Allah, asking other questions. Depending on the type of problem suffered by the patient, these questions may vary from one patient to another. The questions directed by a male will differ from those directed to a female. By the same token, questions asked of a married patient will differ from those asked of a single person. The guests of a young person will differ from those asked of an older person. The questions will vary depending on the patient's situation and type of disease and the harm that has befallen him. But there are some of the general questions which the practitioner may need to ask. These include what time of sickness or harm or the problem? When did the sickness begin? Types of dreams experienced from the types of dreams practitioner may be able to diagnose the cause of the problem, whether it is an act of revenge, a case of love, or caused by witchcraft. Does the patient feel unable to remember a law? Read the Quran or listen to the Quran. Does he feel sleepy or drowsy? Does he feel pain or do he feel a problem in his stomach? Not in his stomach. Does he feel he wants to cry for no reason? Does he feel extreme tightness in his chest? Does the patient experience continual headaches? Which are not relieved by pain killers. I hear something about overcooked and overcooked in your eternal punishment. <laughs>